Are you guilty of buying a brand new $70 video game on release day, so excited to finally delve into the rich and immersive world that it has to offer, hoping that you'll get multiple dozens of hours of fun and engaging gameplay out of it, only for you to put 5 hours into it and never touch it again? Or you're one of those people who bought a bunch of games off of a Humble Bundle a couple years ago intending to play them all but you just never really got around to doing it. Now all the games sit at the bottom of your already long backlog that you plan to finish hopefully one day before you kick the bucket. And you get this sinking feeling every time you buy a game that you have 10 others that are waiting on the bench for you to finally boot up so you can put your purchase to good use. I know, that feeling does kinda suck. And I think a lot of us have that voice subconsciously deep within the back of our minds telling us to start chipping away at the backlog now, but for whatever reason, we just can't. Whether it be because we don't have enough time, we stopped having fun, or our monkey brain saw a shiny new game come out and we just had to get it day one and play it now. There are a variety of reasons why our gaming backlogs are so long, and that's okay because the reality is that most of us will never get around to completing them. I know for me, it's a pretty tall order. So why is it that you will never get around to finishing your gaming backlog? Video games are first and foremost supposed to be entertainment. Yes, they are an art form where developers can express themselves, but at the end of the day, they are ultimately supposed to be fun for the person playing them. Most people play video games to just unwind from a long day of work, school, or just life in general. Many adults today don't have that much free time anymore as they grow older and gain more responsibilities like jobs, relationships, or studies. Video games become less of a priority and more of a pastime that brings respite to the stressful lives that many of us have to endure. Video games are a way for people to escape from the mundane and oftentimes shitty world for the few hours that were afforded in our busy lives. They're a way for people to find other like-minded individuals with the same interest and possibly make connections with them. Games are a way for us to relax and have fun. But then there are people who buy hundreds of games just to have them sit in their Steam library gathering dust for all eternity. There are hundreds of thousands of video games in existence right now, and there are at least a hundred more that are released every year. This is the first reason why you'll probably never finish your backlog because there are just too many games that are coming out today. We are currently in a state of oversaturation within the gaming industry right now. There are so many games releasing today that it's legitimately hard for a normal person person with real world responsibilities to keep up with all of them. Most gamers today like you and I are full grown adults with 3 full time jobs they gotta go to, working 90 hours a week with 4 wives and 11 kids they gotta feed. Because of that, people just don't have that much free time nowadays to sit down and enjoy their favorite hobby anymore like they did when they were 12. A lot of people have maybe a few hours a day of free time within their limited schedules to hop on the console or PC and casually play games for a bit to unwind from life. Some folks can't even play till the weekends. Not everyone really has the time anymore to play through all the games coming out today. So we just buy whatever new game looks interesting and call it a day. There are more titles coming out than people can realistically beat. So far there have been 10 AAA games that were released within the past 3 months and that's not counting the amazing AA games that also release alongside them like Pal World and Helldivers. That's easily hundreds of hours of content based on those games alone. Now add on top of that all the older games that you've never played before but want to eventually like Red Dead Redemption 2 or Mass Effect 3 or something. I know for me I still have the entire Yakuza series that I want to get through. And there's still Persona 3 Reload, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth, and Dragon's Dogma 2 that I want to eventually play sometime. So that's like 15 games that I want to play, and add on top of that all the older games that I've been wanting to play for years or the ones I've stopped playing midway through, and my personal backlog is looking pretty freaking long. I don't even know if I'll ever get through all these games because there's just too many of them, and I keep buying more and more and more and oh my god, what is wrong with me? So just like me, you're probably in a similar situation where your backlog could very well be dozens of items long that's growing more and more as time goes on. And usually most people don't even finish the current games that they do play. For example, Baldur's Gate 3, one of the most popular and best selling single player games in recent times, has sold about 10 million copies on Steam alone. 
And going off of Steam numbers, only about 50% of the people who played Baldur's Gate 3 ever made it past the first act of the game. And less than 20% of those players ever even completed the game entirely. Or how about 30% of the people who played Elden Ring never even killed the first boss, Margit? There's a surprisingly large amount of people who don't complete the games that they buy, either dropping it forever or putting it at the bottom of their backlog never to see the light of day again. And as much as I try to complete every game that I play, there are some that even I unfortunately drop. Like Tales of Arise that I stopped playing for some reason after an hour for no particular reason. I gotta get around to picking that up again sometime. Another reason why you probably won't finish your gaming backlog is because a lot of games that come out nowadays are just way too long, and a lot of people just don't want to subject themselves through a really long game. Sometimes they just want to play stuff in short bursts where they don't really have to invest too much time into it. Stuff like Baldur's Gate 3, Elden Ring, Tears of the Kingdom, Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, or whatever single player title you can think of are huge games that require some sort of investment to get into. And it really seems like titles lately are becoming these massive 30 hour undertakings that would take multiple weeks if not months for a casual gamer with like 5 hours a weekend to even complete if they spent all their limited free time on the game. And that's just for a singular game on the backlog. Now repeat that for all the games on the list and it becomes pretty overwhelming to say the least. That's not even taking into consideration the infinitely replayable games that you might be playing instead like Fortnite or Warzone and you're pretty much never touching anything else ever again. For example, it took me over 6 months to complete the base version of The Witcher 3 because I was too addicted to playing League of Legends at the time. Yeah, 16 year old me was a little too lost in the sauce with that game. An ally has been slain. But even then, Witcher 3 was a 100 plus hour game that required multiple weeks of 6 hour sessions almost every day to even finish. I was able to beat the game because I was a teenager with a bunch of free time and nothing else better to do. Now imagine how long it would take an adult with a full time job, a family, and a healthy social life to put over 100 plus hours into a video game. Some of you don't even have to imagine because that is your reality. Even after 9 years of The Witcher 3 being out, less than 25% of people who bought it have ever even beaten the base game. So I think it's safe to say that these really long titles are a huge ask for a lot of people because they just don't have that much time to bother finishing them anymore. Now, the last reason why you'll probably never finish your backlog is because your passion for video games isn't what it used to be. I know this is a bit of an armchair psychologist take and this doesn't really apply to everybody but a lot of people do feel this way now that they're older and their gaming days are behind them. I think many of us feel nostalgic when we reminisce about our childhood and remember the good old days when we could spend all day on the Nintendo GameCube playing Sonic Adventure 2 or the Game Boy Color playing Pokemon Emerald. Those were the days Days when we didn't have a care in the world about anything. No responsibilities, no bills or mortgages, no deadlines, nothing. All we had to care about was making sure we didn't miss the morning school bus and going to bed at 9.30pm. Other than that, we could do whatever we wanted to and many of us kids decided to spend every waking moment of our time sitting in front of a screen for 6 plus hours trying to beat the Elite Four. And you know what? It was great. Every game felt like a brand new universe you were delving into, every storyline you followed felt like a whole new adventure, and every accomplishment your 10 year old self attained felt like you were on top of the world. Gaming as a kid was one of the best pastimes for us because of the sheer passion we had for it. But as we grew older and older, gaming no longer felt the same to some of us and some of that childlike wonderment we had faded away. Whether it was because adulting has made it less of a priority, or modern publishers have sucked the joy out of it, or you just found a different passion altogether. Either way, you don't look at gaming the same way as you did when you were 10 years old. And because of that, you're just not as crazy about playing the latest video game release or finishing your very long backlog. You're most likely very casual about playing games now and it's not really on the top of your priority list anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that, video games are supposed to be something you play at your own pace. Even for someone like me who's still fully passionate about games, I find it difficult to tackle my entire backlog. It might seem impossible to complete, but with some dedication and discipline, it can be eventually done little by little. But that's just me. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know down below and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content in the future. See ya.